Hi, I'm Michael Gatt, and I'm a failure. And if you're in this room, you probably are too. Hence, how many people have blown up production? Okay, yeah, we're all failures. Uh, it's endemic to our industry. If you're in tech, you fail. You fail every day. If you're a big company, you fail thousands of times a day. This is fine, so long as we keep it to ourselves. But it becomes a problem when we interact with the rest of the world. Because the rest of the world has slightly different standards of professionalism, and they tend to think of us as sort of clownish uh, individuals who really don't get it. Uh, Boeing can't tell you that they can't duplicate your crash because it must be your environment. Do something different. Uh, our standards, as I said, are different and this needs to advance. Um, <laughs> sometimes our mistakes cause real problems for people. And these are the mistakes, these are the failures that can be career destroying, they can be life destroying, mostly if you don't know how to handle them. And what I'm gonna talk about here, very briefly, is what you should do, because we are all failures, we're all going to fail. Well, of course, you're gonna do what you have to do, which is fix it. You're gonna put in the hours, days, weeks, whatever it takes to make it right. But beyond fixing the immediate problem, assuming they don't walk you straight to the door, is how do you plan for that failure? How do you make sure it doesn't happen, or if it does happen, how do you make sure you can handle it best? First of all, think about what you really want to do. What are the failures that you will do best at? As Mark Manson asks, what flavor sandwich um, do you like to eat the most? Because you're going to eat it a lot. So if your favorite flavor of failure is in DevOps, do DevOps. If your favorite flavor of failure is in straight development, that's what you should do. If your favorite flavor of failure is in networking, go there. Beyond that choice, think about where you're working. Ask the company you're working for or you want to work for, how do they handle failure? They tell you to ask questions in an interview. Have you ever asked them, well, what happened to the last guy who blew up production? Hopefully, your interviewer will laugh and give you a great story. If they don't, worry, because those are companies like this one. Those of you who never saw this Reddit, look it up. Uh, guy showed up, first day of work. They handed him an onboarding document. This is how you set up your environment. He copied and pasted. He didn't realize that in that onboarding document, they had root production access, and the first thing it did was delete the database. Uh, surprise, surprise, this company also never tested their backups. The CTO blamed him. Uh, this is another great one. Sometimes you don't need to ask. Sorry, this is really blurry, but um, sometimes you don't need to ask. This is a company that says on their website, they believe winners have always won. Thanks to Corey Quinn for pointing this one out, by the way. Um, they don't believe that a startup should have devil's advocates. This is a company that deals with personal health data. Sounds like a great security <laughs> approach to dealing with data, no devil's advocates. But beyond that, have a plan B, not just for your career, for your life. Uh, Failure is a lot easier to deal with if you have six months in the bank, do you? Because it's a lot tougher if you're worrying about living in your car next week. Uh, if you haven't thought about those things, please do. But beyond that, think about the people around you. As I said, we're all failures. It's part of our business. So when you fall flat on your face, ask for help. Someone will give you help because we've been there. And when, you're the, or, and when you're running along and you hear someone behind you fall flat on their face, stop, you got the time, turn around, give them a hand up, because that's how we all move forward together. 
Tech is a team sport. Surviving failure is a team sport. Thank you.